For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of a review and slash sort of kind of pitching video on a new product from Dometic. It's that way. Essentially what we've got here is kind of the new kind of inflated windbreak from Dometic. So it's called the uh, Air Shelter FTA. So it's almost like a wind shield or, well it's just a flavor windbreak to be perfectly honest with you, but it's got a slightly different concept to it. So obviously it's nice, small and compact, which is brilliant. Uh, but it's made really to kind of match the Dometic tents that they've brought out. So what I'm going to do is just kind of show you simply how easy it is to pitch this on its own. You've got essentially one sort of a single inflation point will pump the whole item itself. So you kind of unravel it like so. It's three panels and it spans about five meters in its entirety length. First thing I'd probably do is actually just kind of lay it out nice and flat. At this point now what we'll do is actually screw the valve in. So you've got a valve at either end of the actual uh, windbreak. So it's just a typical Boston valve, so exactly the same as you get on the Dometic tents. So by screwing that in, just make sure it's nicely sealed. Do the same this side. Now a manual pump isn't supplied with it, it's an optional extra. The idea behind it is that if you've got, an, if you're asking for an inflated windbreak, there's a good chance you've got an inflatable tent and essentially that the pump would be happily for that. So it's easier to just use the pump you've got for your tent rather than them to supply your pump and suddenly you've got two. So for this I'm just going to use their kind of uh, downdraft pump. So it's the same one you get with the metric tents. Only really about 7 psi. It's not a huge amount of air inside of it to be fair. You've got essentially uprights which we'll see in a second. And then you've got uh, a beam located along the bottom, which is quite nice because what it essentially means you're going to do is create that barrier away from keeping your dogs in and giving a bit more support internally as well. So there is a slight shape to it, which you'll probably see in a second as we increase it, the pressure. Again, like all products, you'll only get a reading on the pressure gauge on the downstroke just because the way the valve works, so as air is going inside of it. And there we go. So what I'm going to quickly do is just probably pop this up. Thank you. So I say there's a bit of a pre-shape to it as well. So I kind of help it kind of fits it in position to a certain extent. What I'll probably do is we'll start with one corner and work away. I'm going to probably peg the base first just to kind of get it a bit shaped. There is a bit of a play in this. So what you can do is, if you wanted to dictate the shape and open it a little bit wider or not, you will necessarily see kind of how it, in a way, kind of sits, whether it, it does like that or not. But for me, I think it's, we'll kind of go a bit more right anglish, I think, just to try and make it a bit neater. So, kind of once I've got it secured down, which is probably quite crucial for a rain day, a windy day, I should say, you can see there's uh, a little bit more play in this. So, it's going to kind of go either way. So, we'll start again one side either way. I want to try and tension this outwards so I get tension across the side while still kind of retaining, while still kind of retaining kind of strength into it. So you've got a little kind of uh, buckle on the webbing strap and it's got like a reflective part to it as well. So you can kind of adjust it once you've pegged it. So you can always go to the max and then kind of give yourself a little bit more tension if you wanted to. Immediately I don't think it's going to be as strong as say the other kind of domestic windbreaks that are kind of more awning based. Immediately it's more to design to match the tents. But I think it's a lot easier than threading poles through for sure. And because you've got a little bit of a beam along the bottom, it's a bit more structurally stronger than I'd say a pole would be as well. But like I say, no faffing, no feeding. We've got a good amount of 
support either side and this one back. You can see once you've kind of properly guided out, that's what gives it its main kind of strength. Now you've got additional guide points on the inside here, they're buckled so you can take them on and off, but as the wind's coming from this direction, it's pretty rock solid, it's not going to go anywhere there. But mainly if it's coming from the other side, it's still got a little bit of play, but that kind of pre-shaped on the inside is going to help it quite a bit. But for me, I think I wanted to have kind of furniture in the side, so for the time being, I'm not going to put the guide points in. Alternatively, if you want to just give it a bit more bounce and braces, then I would probably recommend it out anyway. If you leave it for exposed as well, I think you do want that really. But overall, very simple to pitch, as we've just seen. Uh, if you want more information about sort of it, uh, we can look at that now. But I'll tell you what, let's also go to showing you how it packs away, which is also just as easy. So now we move to the packing away. In theory, it should be as easy, if not easier than actually uh, pitching the old thing. Uh, the key is just down to method. So what we're gonna do really is to start almost in reverse order to many ways. So what's, to be fair actually, I'm gonna deflate it first, that way we're sort of out of the way of the wind. So we can just undo that front kind of valve to it. Now, don't forget you wanna do it at both ends. Otherwise what you find is it's going to, uh, you'll have a big sort of trap of air as you kind of go through. So by undoing that straight away, it makes it a little bit more easy to do. I'm gonna kind of just pull it in a little bit, take the guide points out. If it was on a windy day, I suggest you kind of almost leave a peg in from where, which direction the wind's coming from, just to stop it flying away like a kite. But overall, it's pretty painless. So, now we've kind of got all the pegs removed, what I want to do is almost flip it on its front. So the valve is now facing to the ground. Reason being is we need to kind of fold it in half. So I'm going to bring one end over to the other. That way, when we come to kind of roll it, we're rolling towards the valves on that side. So take it over like so. Line that all up nice and neatly. Guy puts them down. At this point, I'd say it's quite a nice idea just to give a little bit of a squeeze from the top of the air down. Just makes life a little bit easier when you're coming to roll up. And then from this point here, we'll flip the top down to the bottom. And then we've got a perfect size for the bag. You can always get the bag to kind of just have a bit of an idea if you wish. What I'll also do is actually just lay a clip underneath it so when I come to roll it, it's sort of dead perfect for me. So you can always kind of re-roll it a couple of times but it's not really not to it. And this is kind of one of the joys of it, it's quite a small pack size, because essentially it's just a bit of fabric, no poles, and just kind of guide points really. So, so we've got a clip there like so, clip it, tension it, and then you can flip the bag over the top of it. Got the right length. Turn it upside down. So for more information about this, you can always check kind of the link below. It'll take you through to our website where we've got kind of our little review video going a little bit more detail about the actual idea as well. Uh, as well as kind of the prices and offers we've got kind of going on it, uh, as well as compatibility of the products and things like that. So the whole sort of main information is there, but that kind of gives you a bit more of an insight on how you would sort of pitch and also then pack away the brand new uh, sort of Dometic air screen shelter, well, air screen windbreak to that point. But for more information, let us know, let us know what you think of it as well. By all means, comments in the box below. Uh, it's always great to hear from you guys and think if you've got something similar, how it works, or anything you'd like to see certain domestic do, because it's always great to give good feedback to them. So yeah, thanks again, and we'll hopefully see you again soon.